Before I get into details, I want to be clear. E-mobility devices, including e-bikes and scooters, are not the enemy here. They are not the enemy. When used correctly, these devices are a convenient, low-cost transportation options for New Yorkers. E-bikes are not the enemy, as the mayor said, and we are also don't want our enforcement efforts to fall on the delivery workers who are simply responding to a New Yorker's demand. Uh E-bike help New Yorkers get around the city and they're much safer and more efficient than large vehicles. So I I'll remember that. So I will be back here. <laughs> right now my hands are full. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Wow. Wow, I almost got killed by a city bike rider. What a dick. <laughs> this is New York Realm. Those idiots, DoorDash and Grubhub. Yeah, if it wasn't for traffic, city bike too. If it wasn't for a good old traffic, they would have went right through that red light. They're going through the red light anyway. They can't wait. Including the dork skateboarder. <laughs> this stupid skate, electronic skateboard. Such a dorky fucking toy. Here we are on Fifth Avenue. And remember, e-bikes are our are not the enemy. They're our pals. E-bikes are not the enemy. E-bikes are not the enemy. E-bikes are not the enemy. Come on. <laughs> uh-huh. Boy, you two are stupid. Why don't you use the why don't you go on Broadway if you want to go the wrong way? E-bikes are not the enemy. <laughs> E-mobility is not the enemy. There are pals. E-bikes <laughs> are not the enemy. One, DoorDash going the wrong way. City Bike Bro, cutting off pedestrians. Going the wrong way. No, he's going the right way. There's a dock nearby. Riding on the sidewalk. <laughs> Ah, uh, lady going the wrong way, but e-bikes are not the enemy. City bikes are perfectly safe to ride too, right? Kavanaugh, right? Idiot. Enemy. Two batteries. Ooh, boy. Ah. I'm not gonna test this. E-bikes are not the enemy. Oh, he actually stopped. Not that asshole, though. Two batteries. That's Go Puff right there, getting a little head start. Oh, look at it! Yeah, here he goes. Anybody else? Anybody else? <laughs> oh, look at DoorDash. That's a good commercial, DoorDash. That's a good commercial. Uh, right, E-bikes are our friends. <laughs> E-bikes are, are not the enemy. They're not the enemy at all. And they always have to go faster than the cars. See, e-bikes, e they have, they're supposed to have more privilege. They're supposed to have privilege. They're supposed to go fast. Only e-bikes can speed. Because it's good for the environment. It's a, it, it'll fight climate change, right, Legia? I'm sorry, your new name is Liggy. I'm gonna call you Liggy from now on, Liggy Agubla. Uh, Workers Justice Project, you blocked me anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna call you Liggy. Your new name is Liggy. I hope uh, everybody else calls you that because you're a liar and a hustler. And you're responsible for the e-bike chaos in the streets. And also the motorcycles too, you brought that. You brought that too. E-bikes are not the end, oh, okay. Here's the city up here. 
Oops. <laughs> the enemy. They, those two just need education, not enforcement. Like that yuppie up ahead. They just need education. And laws should not be enforced because e-bikes are not the enemy. Crash, crash. Two yuppie idiots. Ah, oh, yeah, e-bike mobility, too. E-bike mobility is the future. That's one more Strepo, that Transult Zombie. He's a lobbyist now, I believe. You're not supposed to. Oh, yeah. That's an e-bike. I thought it was a motorcycle. But they are motorcycles. Bikes are not the enemy. Look at this shit. Every, every street's a bike boulevard, thanks to the DOT. Every street's a bike boulevard now. Because of what they did to Broadway, every street's a bike boulevard. Yeah, go ahead, DoorDash, break the law with your two batteries. He's so stressed. He's so, he's so stressed to make deliveries. He needs two batteries. I'm so under pressure. I need, I need wider bike lanes and two batteries to do my job. Oh. Oh, the poor snowflake deliverista. Poor snowflake. And it's DoorDash. And he's, I need to work 18, 24 hours. I need, oh, I need to work 200 hours a week. Because I'm so exhausted from living in my free hotel room. Froze again. That's why two-way bike lanes are a bad idea. Look at that. Look at that near collision. Wait till this turns red. I'm only showing you how stupid the two-way bike lane is. Yeah, because the people come this way, they have to stop here while people are freaking speeding up the avenue here. But this one. <laughs> You're not gonna run the red light. Why do you need two? You need two batteries to ride a bike? You're weak, man. You're weak. You need two batteries to ride a bike? Oh, you're so under pressure to make deliveries. Boo hoo hoo. So under pressure to make deliveries. Oh, I gotta hurry up. I need two batteries to ride a bike. <laughs> Yo, you shouldn't ride a bike with those balloons, but that's what DoorDash tells them to do. Yeah, DoorDash, they, they put their cyclists in danger. Although that could be Uber Eats. What's that, Uber Eats? Is that Uber? Telling you to carry balloons on a handlebar? What are you, stupid? <laughs> You're gonna see some wicked e-bike traffic violence soon. This is one of the worst intersections, one of the most worst and dangerous intersections in the city for e-bikes and e bike mobility. That was two ran the red light. They even run the red light on that side too. Watch. <laughs> E-bikes are not the enemy. See that side there? Look at them go. Look at them go. Got damn bus guy in the way. Look at them go. You don't have the light when you're in the crosswalk. I gotta watch my phone. Look at this. Look at all the traffic violence. And this is with the green light. Because people are always walking here. You can't, you can't put a, you can't fucking put protective bike lanes. You can't. Bikes have to ride with traffic. You can't put bikes in, in a separate lane like this. That put, it puts pedestrians in danger. And that doesn't belong here. Look at this shit. That doesn't belong here, man. That doesn't belong here at all. Look at this shit. Look at this. But e-bikes are not the enemy. E-bikes are not the enemy. See, we have to make, we have to educate people about e-bikes and, and biking in, in New York City. Because they have to run red lights. They have to run red lights. And they need illegal batteries 
uh, to race in the streets like this idiot. You have to be educated, New Yorkers. They have to run the lights. They have to run the lights. You don't understand. E-bikes come before people. You know how they say like uh, streets are for people? <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> Not anymore. I'm glad that car is blocking the bike lane. It, it, it fucking uh, it calms traffic. That calms e-bike traffic. See? See now they're riding slower. Look at this idiot. Look at this idiot here. Yeah, two batteries. He has two batteries. You think he's gonna trade them in? You think he's gonna trade those juiced up illegal batteries? And let me tell you something. The food apps supplied him with those batteries too. Mobility is not the enemy. City bike's not the enemy. City bike is the safest mode of transport in the city, according to uh, Kavanaugh. Lithium Neon Laura says city bikes are, are the safest uh, mode of transportation. She really did say that. She said to, uh, I believe, Rosanna Scotto and uh, Bianca Peters. Look at that mess over there. They're all running the right light. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> what a clusterfuck. Oh, sure. 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 Yeah, nice couple. Oh, look at this idiot. Look at that idiot. But he's not the enemy. He bikes are not the enemy. They need to go the wrong way. They have to go the wrong way. You gotta be educated. You have to be fixed. See, Lord Kavanaugh, she wants to fix uh, New Yorkers to accept that, uh, accept the, the scofflaw behavior of e-bike riders. That's good. That's very good. <laughs> E-bikes are not the enemy. Man, why don't you just slow down a little? That woman is not well. Just slow down. There you go, city bike. I wonder why the ambulance can't get through. Oh yeah, they made this. Yeah. Oh, the light's green. Yeah, they made this. Boy, if, it, if only that ambulance had a freaking way to get through here. But no, we have to like, uh, we have to make lanes for e-bikes coming the wrong direction. Because it's convenient for them to go down Broadway. What a joke. Yeah, that's why. That's why we made this bike lane. Never mind the ambulance. We, we have to make bike boulevards everywhere. Everywhere's a bike boulevard now, thanks to the Department of Transportation Alternatives. They're not gonna stop. They're not gonna, look at this idiot. DoorDash, good. Good, DoorDash. Nailed you, you bastard. On the phone too, that's, 
That's who's stealing the schedules, DoorDash? That's who you give them the schedules to? I can't get a goddamn schedule. You give it to bastards like that? And as you see, they're all running the red light. There's no red. This thing, there's a steady red right in front of them. What a mess. They have to get rid of that. They have to get rid of that two-way right there. That is the dumbest thing. I think that was Sadek Khan's idea. Another one. You're not supposed to be in this lane. You're not supposed to go this way, you jerk off. And he smells too. <laughs> Actually, um, that's why it smells. Orbital. Oh, that's Orbital Kitchen, by the way. They're on, uh... Wow. And he has tires and wheels on there. Orbital Kitchen is on, uh, between 13th and 14th Street on 5th Avenue. It's a dark kitchen. And, uh, in that, in that, in that kitchen, they store e-bikes, uh, with tons of illegal batteries. And the light's red. Two batteries, DoorDash. Two batteries. What do you need two batteries for? Can't ride a bike? Why are you phoning me? I'm phoning everybody. It's a news report. Why do you need two, ba two batteries for? Hey, are you stealing the schedules? I don't know. You guys stealing the schedules? You guys work 24 hours a day? How come the schedules disappear so fast? <laughs> they know. They know. They know. They know. DoorDash again. Look at him go, DoorDash. Look at him go. Yeah, you keep uh, coddling these people. Hey, Dutch Express too. That's your friend. That's your partner too, right, DOT? You keep coddling these people. You keep coddling these delivery people, these city bike riders. You keep coddling them. You keep giving them all these... And New York City Council, you keep making these bills. Keep powers. I know this was you recently with that e-bike bill. With that trading shit, with that, with that swap shit. I know you're behind this, you mama's boy. You're such a little creep. You're such a little weasel mama's boy. Big little fucking big man child. And you're, and you're enabling fucking uh, adult children behavior. Noise canceling headphones, not smart, lady. Almost ran right into that cab. Yes, yeah, city bike, you better hurry up and replace all these e-bikes with those classic bikes. You know it's good for you. Look, now it's a fire engine's turn to be delayed. Huh? Yeah. Oh, you want me to you're getting out? They're still there. Boy, if they only had a lane of traffic. If they only had an extra lane of traffic. If they only had an extra lane of traffic. You tell me these speeding e-bikes can't ride with traffic here? They need that they need their own special bollard bike lane? You really need think they needed this shit? Really, these these e bikes go fast as cars and these scooters go as fast as cars. Why do they need this special lane for themselves? And they don't even follow the law. Look at this. Yeah, oops. Look at this. Look at these two Nimrods. That's right, you know it's red. You know you have to go with the red, everybody. Look at this mess. What a mess. It's an e-bike sewer. A city bike sewer. <laughs> Oh, this is funny. Thank God for cars. Thank God for cars. Two batteries. Look at that battery. Yeah, that's not legal. That's legal. That's illegal, man. That's an illegal battery. Where's the UL certification? Where's the UL certification sticker? Where's it hiding? Where are you hiding it? That, that battery is illegal, too. That battery is illegal, too, DoorDash. Better, better right away. You stealing the schedules, man? <laughs> You see, they don't give it. They're so stupid. They don't realize those batteries are illegal. Some idiot actually told them those are those are actually legal to use. 
Oh yeah, it's right. It's it was the it was the fire fire department commissioner. <laughs> and the Department of Transportation Alternative Department of Transportation Alternatives Commissioner. They told them those batteries are legal. Dumbasses. City Council told them those batteries are legal. God. Dead behind the eyes. Look at this. Look, look at those. Oh, look at these two. Dari. Almost crashed the city bike. Good idea of making this uh, a, a ridiculous fucking intersection here. See, before, I mean, on 34th and Broadway and uh, 6th Avenue, that was a dangerous intersection, though, because when, when cars just go through all of them until they put Macy's up. Now, th this is actually worse than that because now you got bikes coming every which way. <laughs> And of course, uh, the, the DOT, since they made Broadway a bike boulevard, now everybody thinks it's a bike. Now every, now every street is a bike boulevard. This is gonna be a nice long video. And it's gonna go sweet with the, with the clips of uh, Adams and Kavanaugh saying, e-bikes are not the enemy. Here comes another one. There's a fire engine coming. There's a fire engine coming. There's a fire engine coming. Come on, move. That's a red light anyway. Hey, move. I'm gonna stand here too. I was really hoping all the deliveries to Doug's would be here and stop. Ten, nine, idiot, eight, what an idiot, six, three, two, one. And that's the end of this. I'm hungry. Oh, shit. Thank you. Wow, that was close. Thank you. Wow, I didn't even hear it fall. Idiot. Oh, never mind. The DOT made uh, wrong way traffic illegal. They made riding against traffic illegal. Wow, so I'm on the wrong side. <laughs> Jesus. Wow, look at this. Hey, Ya Ting Lu, this one's for you. Trash. <laughs> this was for you too, Hort. $25 million, and look at the mess. Look at the disgusting mess there is here. Look how filthy these streets are. When was the last time they sweep the streets here? $400 million. $400 million for this trash. These guys, they're afraid to ride in traffic. Oh, I'm so under pressure. Oh, the cars are so scary. I'm so afraid of cars. I'm so afraid of the cars. Oh, oh, I need a battery to ride a bike. I need a battery to ride a bike. <laughs> Look at this one. Look at this traffic violence. Look at this traffic violence right there. <laughs> he's so, he's so under pressure. He's so under pressure to deliver food for two different apps. That's why they're under pressure. Because that's against terms of services to work for two apps. Against both companies. Against both companies' terms of services. See, they, they're they under pressure because they have to deliver at two places at once. That's freaking why. And if they're late, they'll get bad ratings on from boat co from probably uh, customers of boat apps. So most deliveristas, when they say uh, that uh, we that uh, deliveristas are under pressure, while well, they get paid nineteen dollars an hour plus tips, and then beg uh, and then beg the government to to make uh, dedicated uh, lanes 
for fucking motorcycles and e-bikes. That's how full of shit they are. They are running they are running the biggest hustle in New York City, those delivery stores. And they got backing from the most powerful elected officials in government, and Mayor Adams and Brad Lander, and New York City Council. The biggest graft, go, biggest grip going right now. Look at that. Hey, DoorDash, one of your dickhead deliveristas almost hit this woman here. He's so under pressure. So under pressure to deliver food. He almost hit that woman. You hear that door? You saw that door dash? You saw that door dash? You thought you thought y'all can keep me out of New York City? You thought y'all can keep me out of Manhattan? <laughs> You're about to get served hard by Impunity City. That guy's speeding up towards a red light. Well, that guy ran it. This is the city bike privilege I've been telling you about for years, people. Look how fast he's going. <laughs> well, he, ah, he might catch the other red light. Yeah, he did. Yeah, there he goes. <laughs> Punk ass. E-bikes are not the enemy. Yeah, DoorDash. Good commercial for DoorDash right there. Asshole. Oh, maybe he works there. 